Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I wanted to talk about a very important topic. And that is the terrible things that has happened to your life has been wished for. Hoped for. And in many cases planned and orchestrated by not only your narcissist parent or parents. But by those that write the rules and those that dictate the pace on how society is to function. And this goes to the question that many narcissistic abuse survivors ask. Especially when it comes to their parent or parents that abused them. Because we always want to see our parents even if they are or were narcissists in the best of lights. And it's very hard to wrap our minds around that someone that is our mother or father. That they could have evil motives towards us. And so we in our minds try to come up with every reason we can come up with. As to why they act the way they do. And it's that learning to give the benefit of the doubt for this sick behavior is one of the main reasons why we have given the benefit of the doubt to so many other toxic people that have entered our lives. But the truth is very scary and sad to look at. And it's very much the reason why I believe that people don't want to look at the bad happenings in society. And say that at least some of them were done on purpose. There are many events that have transpired. And when someone says their belief as to what happened. No matter they be right or wrong. They get labeled by society as a nut job. Or someone that is wacko in the brain. When even though they might be wrong. They very well could be. It doesn't take away from the fact that it's possible. It's very possible that such a thing happened and it was indeed purposeful. But confronting such things can be extremely scary for many people. Because if they acknowledge such a thing. What are they now supposed to do with that information? It's very similar with that movie The Matrix. Where it was said that a great many enjoy being asleep and not everyone is ready to be made awake. And this is why again in society the average person will say the normal talking points of the bad things in society. And blaming all the things or people that society tells you to blame. And these people will actually bring up such topics without your prompting. But if you actually reply back with facts and real well thought out talking points. It's like you can hear a pin drop. They turn their head. And pretend they weren't even talking to you. And they act like they aren't even in the same room with you. And this is how the societal narcissists want things to be. Because if you can't talk about and identify the problem. The problem never gets fixed. And this allows them. Whoever they or them are to put forth certain things in society that make getting ahead almost impossible it seems but no matter how much you can see it's done on purpose there are millions or people still asleep unable to face this truth well your narcissist parents were or are the same way depending if they are living or now passed on you see not only did your narcissist parent or parents want to mess up your life so they could keep you around for lifetime narcissistic supply. They enjoyed the process of watching you fail at each and everything you ever tried. You see. There are tons and tons of narcissistic survivors that report being homeless. In between jobs. And in one problem after the next. And these are hard working people. They aren't in these problems and are running to this person or that person to fix these problems for them. No. They just work through their problems the best they can. And as soon as they fix that problem. Four more pop up. You see. Everyone has problems. Everyone. No one is exempt. But I've seen kids when I was a kid. That had parents that really cared and worked hard to help their children find what they love to do early on. And then work with them to cultivate their skills. I remember in grade school. There was a kid that loved to draw. And his parents really were active in his drawing. They really helped him along. He was entering competitions in grade school and winning big time. Then one day. He said he was leaving school. Because his parents were putting him in a school where he could have more access to bettering his drawing skills. When he became an adult. You guessed it. He never had to work a job he didn't like. And he eventually was able to use his drawing to work for himself. And even those that weren't that extreme. 
I've seen parents that flat out cared. And tried to steer their children in the right direction. Because they wanted their child to have life choices and a direction to go when they turned 18. As for many of us. We are alone. Scared and confused at 18. And at these young and confused ages is where many of us met that narcissist that is now our narcissist ex. Where we thought they cared about us. And they wanted to be a part of our lives. But the truth was is they just noticed we were directionless. And without family. And abused and knew we would be easy to abuse again. But the truth is people. You are smart. There are some super smart people in this community that work really hard at their lives. And I will say this. Keep on working hard. Do not give up. But please know you aren't where you are at simply not because you didn't try hard enough or you aren't smart enough. You grew up with a 800 pound gorilla on your back. And your hands and feet tied together. And you were then told to run uphill. And as other people are lapping you. And flying right past you. You find yourself and your life falling into the cracks. Because that is what the narcissist parent or parents wanted for your life. And that is what the societal narcissists wanted for your life too. Because if you were able to get it together. Your sharp mind and your great ideas. Would challenge those that run the show. Because they don't want too many people to become successful. And the ones that do. They want to be able to control. And most narcissistic abuse survivors. Will not agree to the sky being green. We have to speak the truth. And the more you are down and your life is down. The more the societal narcissists love it. Right along with your parents or parents. You see. I was recently asked. Since my mother passed away a while back. How do I feel now about her and losing her? And I've talked about before. I know what my mother was. And even though that being said. I prayed over her when she was sick and her life was almost over. I always loved my mother. I know some people say they could never do that. But over the last I want to say 10 years. I stopped trying to fix her. A couple of times I would catch myself trying to have a meaningful conversation with her about something. But I would remind myself of who and what she was. Yes. What my mother did to me was flat out evil. It was evil and it was rotten. And I know for a fact my life would be in a different spot if she had loved me. But just because she wanted bad for me. Didn't dictate my behavior and how I felt towards her. I prayed over her. And she passed on. And God is her ultimate judge. I often said that if that day would come. My mother would try to gaslight God and would argue with him. But that's out of my hands. And though she sabotaged my life. I still prayed over her. And all I can do is move forward. Would it have been nice to have a proper mother that loved me? Yes. But it didn't happen. Walking around with hate wouldn't do me any good. But I just want to let you know. Do not get too frustrated with yourself over your life failures. But don't stop trying to get where you are wanting to go either. I think it's quite alright to acknowledge why you are in the boat you are in. I don't think it makes you a complainer or a whiner or that you're making excuses. But in the same breath of acknowledging why you are in the boat you are in. You still have to fight for the best life you can get and have. And use the talents that God gave you along the way. So please keep going. Keep trying your best. And keep on being good to yourself. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.